So it's April, April 2021. Who'd have thought we'd have got this far? Anyway, this is Home Life 21, just as a coincidence. Lots of things going on through April, so I hope you enjoy it. So it's the 1st of April, and it's not a bad day. Uh, we've been down in the woods collecting firewood. The odd trees that I fell during the winter. Um, this is the Roma, these are the Roma tomatoes. So I'm just potting them on now before they get too big. And with tomatoes, you can. pop them on just a little bit deeper than they were if they've got a bit leggy like that one. I'm not holding it by the stem. It's important that holding it by the cotyledon leaf, i.e. the seed leaf. That way if you do a slight bit of damage it's to a leaf that will disappear anyway. Yeah. Try and get that one. See that one's got quite a long stem so we'll bury a small amount of it so it's more stable. Where's the rest of them? Oh, here they are. So it's good to start getting some of the wood out of the woods, the firewood, in about three foot lengths and that will sit in the wood yard in a stack until uh, spring of 2022 and I will then start converting it for the winter of 2022-2023 There's a few more tomato plants that I need. But I'm just picking out the healthy ones and uh, more than we need so we can always exchange them. Or just give them away. But only to people you know will use them. There's no point giving away plants and you know they'll just sit there or get thrown away. You've got to have, you've got to give them to people who've got a will to use them. This one's not particularly good, but, and I think that will do. Seven plants, good enough. Yeah, there is one more there. Let's plant it up, let's pot it on anyway, as it does not, makes not a great deal of difference. There we go, and then I'll just water those in, and there you go. If you notice, don't know whether, you, oh you can see, yes, those to, um, lettuce plants are growing on, and just in front there, where you've got the white label, those lettuce seedlings are just starting to germinate. But those lettuce plants there need to go out in the glass house here. I'm just going to have to think about where I'm putting this next lot of seedlings. Right, we'll just crack on. And here's the garlic bombing away. And where the strawberries were, and of course I've moved them to the other side of the veg plot. In, I can't remember, it must have been October, something like that. I dug out the really good ones and I've mocked that area really well so they'll grow on. And this is where the where they were 
and that's been dug over and it's because it's this heavy soil that you've got to at least dig it over and break it up and then added a lot of muck to that so that is where the squashes are going to go this year so they'll feed well off that lot but it is the time now we've had such a wet spring that it wasn't right to start digging uh, or turning the soil over but there's this patch here there's the garlic there, there's a and that one's going through you can see the nettle starting to grow and the fever few where's the fever there it is I think yes there's some fever few but um, that's in the wrong place but we like to keep a bit of fever few around to collect the flowers that makes quite a um, a healing drink for headaches and aches and pains and stuff like that right that'll do So this is the computer that I normally use for editing and I've got hold of some Kingston 2 Kingston 4 gig RAM sticks so I'm going to change them in here Because all I've got in here at the moment is uh, two two gig sticks. So there's one, and there's the other, and we'll just pop these in. I don't think that's gone in right. You need your best glasses on to see this. Is that in there? Is it the right way around? No, it's not. There's a little notch and it's not uh, in the centre. There we go. always a bit tricky press them down and they click in that's it now we've got eight gigs in there instead of four and that should make the uh, video editing just that bit smoother and I've got a, um, a solid state drive in there now so that makes it quicker as well. There we go. Right, another job done. So, several people have asked, why do I do this? Well, there's so many benefits. Marketing is designed to make people feel insecure and unhappy. Whereas if you can have a calm life and you're just doing sustainable things, and also we're building habitats here, and providing homes for various creatures then to my mind that's a better thing than feeling dissatisfied and 
that listening to marketing people whose only interest is their bonuses. There you go. Anyway, I'm going to continue. Right, I'm just checking the tracking on this CRV because yeah, I bought a fresh one because the other one, well, it started breathing heavily through the um, filler cap so you can tell that it's got piston problems probably and hence that knock could have lost a bit of the skirt off one of the pistons I don't know yeah or it could be head gasket maybe never thought of that but not pressurizing the water just pressurizing one of the oil galleries of some form don't know anyway there was a point where you just think uh, anyway I made the decision but I bought this CRV private sale and you know it's fairly low mileage but uh, and a fresh Ministry of Transport test but just typical the tracking it just feels not quite right it seemed all right on the way back because we were on motorway a lot of the way but um, just pottering around here it's always wandering to the left a bit if it wants to so I thought I'd check the tracking and also I had the rear brakes apart because they were the pads were virtually seized yeah and the the slider pins were really tricky to get out so it just goes to prove yeah you can't trust anybody even the Ministry of Transport test so what we've got here is I've got a piece of string that goes across the back tire and across the front tire okay and just there there's a bit of a gap I'll just move the camera around a bit where are we there's a gap there so what we need to do is we need to turn the steering wheel until the front and the back of that tire touch the string and I've got the tire on a bit of plastic it's actually part of the separator from a forklift battery and what we want to do that's virtually right I don't know whether you can see but now it touches there and it touches there okay so we'll go to the other side and when we do the other side it should touch there and the slightest bit of a gap there let's set it up so it touches the tire there and it touches the tire there so we just need to adjust the tracking a little bit and the track rods on these at, are at the rear so I will need to extend the track rod out just a little bit okay I shall crack on with that and just uh, see what I've adjusted it once already by about one and a half turns which was quite a lot so the other thing to think about is as I'm jacking it up is there any wear in part of the suspension there's the joint and I'm just levering the whole thing up and down and there's no movement in that that's great okay I'll do the same on the other side just to check it's not bad the pads are fairly recent I've had those apart though because the sliders which are there were a bit tight there we are you undo those nuts at the end to get those bolts to get this whole assembly off 
and that slider there inside that gator they were fairly tight I think they changed the um, pads but not had the sliders apart it's always worth taking them apart wiping them off put a bit more silicon grease or rubber grease on there just a little tad and make sure they move right I've adjusted this three quarters of a turn okay I've set this back up again and if you can see focus doesn't want to focus let's move the camera in we're in wobbly cam if you could see there's about a mil mil and a half there gap so hopefully that will be somewhat better take it out on a road test and see but of course you've got the camber of the road and some of these roads around here are really rough so you've got to be quite careful about how you set these things up that's quite nice bird song um, look here at on home life 20 I showed you this hedge and basically there was just a few buds showing and now look at it it's really greening up it's doing really well and just round here if we can see it's a little bit difficult to see in the viewfinder for me here but yeah can you see that there's actually shoots coming up from the bottom where we've cut through or partially cut through then new hedge shoots coming from right down there which is what the idea is yeah so it grows up through everything and um, yeah, this this uh, autumn of course this will get a bit of a haircut and I just noticed round here and I'll just move the camera so we've had this period of dry weather as we did last uh, spring not quite as dry as last spring but nearly and we've had these north north northeasterly winds they've been absolutely bitter and you don't want to stand in the wind and what else okay frosts at night quite heavy duty frosts and we are talking the last week in April now but here the as you can see the hawthorn flowers are starting to develop and this is on just this bit of hedge that we laid early a uh, couple of years ago so other places there'll be more blossom than that but today of course as you can hear there's hardly a breath of breeze which is great it's about time too and then um, <laughs> isn't that typical right let's crack on with something else so this is a window I made I think 2001 something like that it was out of Douglas fir or it is out of Douglas fir and but it was on the I'd say the westerly face of a building and there were some trees on that side as well that obviously hold the damp in because look what we got there you can see where maybe the damp has run down down the style and started to rot out so I think what we need to do here is have that this will be held on by some wooden pins through the mortise and through the uh, tenon so we'll drill those pins out and knock the the sill off and let's see how we get on if the tenons are all right we can just make a new sill out of something like oak 
I've got some various bits of short lengths of oak so we could machine that up and it's air dried at least five years so that'll do nicely let's just see what happens so there we are the rot just got to the tenons but didn't actually go into them where are we there we go so I've treated those with creosote and I'll give another treatment before I put things together and I've made a fresh sill and it's just being painted at the moment I'm just going to spin the camera around no you won't be able to see it properly let me go and fetch it And there we go. Yeah, he's had a good coat of primer and it will have two or three coats of top coat. Yeah, and I will, um, rather than replacing the wooden pins, I'll probably screw this into the styles from the bottom and put in plenty of grease on the screws. That way they won't rust through the, uh, with the oak. But I think that should uh, see me out, as it were. And just on this flat bit here, let's just zoom in. The camera's flashing, but just here, there is a bit of 2B1 that fits on there, mitered, and that is the that creates the. Uh, rebate for the glass and the reason I made it like that was originally because I made this sill out of a piece of 6x2 in fact all the Douglas I had was 6x2 so the the frames were made around the size of the timber I had I'll just spin this round and show you what I mean there you go you see This is actually something like 20 by 45 comes down and it's mitered there and goes across and that creates the rebate for the the glass. So we're just stacking the firewood and uh, as Thorn Warbler will recognise, because he and the family helped a few years ago bringing uh, firewood out of the woods. This is the firewood trailer and it is a caravan trailer made out of caravan chassis that's been hacked about quite a lot, narrowed and shortened and added to and removed and anyway the top was a piece of block board and you can see there the blocks and eventually the top layer of plywood degraded away and then this year we got a big massive hole in it down there I thought it's time to refurb but that has been sat outside for more than 10 years at least, yeah, more than yes anyway so I've uh, removed it and put a new floor on there, a lot more solid, and I'll just put the sides back on. They only slot on, so it's very easy. these pieces of box section here are at the right
right way round. There we go. And I had to make a new front totally. Because not only did it get a bit battered, but it was made out of because this this is just two by two these uprights and they've rotted off at the bottom so I think once the uh, years worth of firewood collecting is done I think I'll creosote this and then maybe even find somewhere where it can sit or roost over winter under cover that would be a good thing Right, I think now it's time to go to the glass house again. Right. Hopefully you can see that. That's one of the leaf plants. So that's a good six or seven inches tall now. And do you remember I uh, showed you those apple seedlings? Well, there we go. That's probably a good three inches high. Let's just see if I can zoom in on those. And one of the Roma tomatoes. There's the leek, there's the apple, there's the Roma tomato. And next to it, there's the pot of lettuce seedlings that I need to now pot on. So we'll just crack on with that. So when I'm preparing these we often chat about various things and it was interesting I was listening to Radio 4 a few days ago and this person came out with a perfect set of phrases I thought that's amazing and I thought I'd share it with you in a similar vein to how my friend told me about the uh, the Buddhist philosophy about enlightenment last time, just trying to find some more pots. So it went like this time. This time, he goes, when you have your memorial or your tombstone or even a blue plaque on a wall somewhere it gives a start date and a finish date and in between those two dates i.e. the date that you're born and the date that you die there's a dash so let's say 1947 dash 2020 okay and it's the dash that's the important bit okay but the thing is eventually to realize that although it's defined as a dash it shouldn't be a dash and a rush take in your time thinking things through, allowing things to develop, to the majority of time, not always, but for just general stable life, as it were, unless you're living it in a time of crisis, it's just take it easy. doesn't mean don't do anything, it just means 
think about things. There is time to do stuff. There's always time to do stuff. There's also time to waste. And I suppose it's that fine balance and what you consider a waste and what you consider mental time. Right, I'm just going to continue on with this. But I thought that was interesting. It's the dash that's the important bit and it shouldn't be a dash. So here's the sill painted up and we just drop it in place and here's that extra piece I was talking about and we'll pop that in there. That looks good. These, this is held together with the glass, but I suppose I really ought to put a clamp across there just to make sure. So I'll just do that. I'm not going to tighten it up very. I think you won't be able to see if I do it that way. Let's move this drill out of the way. There we go, just to make sure. Okay, so now I'm just going to drill through there on the inside at a slight angle. Drill up through there. And some of you will have seen the repair on this AEG drill. It seems to work amazingly well. Remember that's through dry oak. some grease. Okay let's put a bit of grease on this mainly because it's going into oak and of course the tannins in the oak will attack the steel. There we go and then others of you will remember the fix on this this Bosch impact. Typical. That's below the window board anyway, so that'll be fine. So I'll just put a pin through that. There we go. That can go back in the frame now. Not in the frame, in the timber frame. But as I say, I'll put a pin through there just to hold that. But the window board goes there into that groove so that is below any sight line. Grand! Taking a while because obviously the various coats of paint letting them get nice and dry and then um, then flatting them back and all that sort of thing but we're done now.
Right, we've got a bit of a project on this morning. We're going to sort out the potted strawberries. So I've got this container here that I recycled from somewhere, saved it from littering and I filled up with that muck there and now I'm going to plant the strawberries that were runners that I saved when I moved the strawberry plot. So let's plant those out. Right, this is good, strong, well rotted muck. So uh, these should crack on. And as you can see, that they're trying to flower, but the roots are not that, not too pot bound. So I'm hoping these will do well. There's another one here with flowers. Let's just get rid of that and weed. I'm not quite sure how many I can get in here but it's good strong feeding for them so I'll put them fairly that one's a little bit pot bound but not that bad so we'll put plenty in there and see what we do Bit of coots grass there, don't want that in there. Alright, and another two. So I'll have to find a another pot of some form. And give them a watering in, and they should be just grand. those roots get into this uh, manure compost they'll be away how many have got three left well I reckon actually that's probably enough could get another one there but if I've got three then three will go in another pot brilliant 
water it in, away we go. So those overwintered lettuce are quite huge now. Brilliant, eh? And the next lot are coming on. And we've got some early carrots sown here. And there is the strawberries. Better than trying to keep them in pots over the summer. And it looks like they want to fruit anyway. So I think they'll bomb away just there. So April has been a gloriously sunny, windy, frosty, cold uh, month. So, but uh, we've got today a little bit of rain, you know, and I'm starting to get concerned about the trees that we planted in November, or was it December? Can't quite remember now. But hopefully um, this very dry weather will come to a close and they can get growing on but um, that's the end of home life 21 please comment subscribe and do all that sort of thing and subscribe because like me you never know what's going to come up next cheers for now